Welcome back, welcome back, and welcome back. Today we are going to do our version of the knockoff of the little seizures, little puff thingies. <laughs> That's Italian sausage that I've already browned up, mushrooms, bell peppers, and onions. We've got pepperonis, we've got butter here, Parmesan cheese, mozzarella cheese. I'm just using this little off brand pizza dough, marinara sauce garlic salt, and Italian seasoning. Here's your shot of everything we're gonna use. Now let's get cooking. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is doctor up our butter. That's four tablespoons that I've melted. I'm gonna put in about a tablespoon of garlic salt. You can also use regular garlic. I'm showing you my knockoff version. And about a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. I'm just gonna mix that all up. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little muffin tin here and I'm just going to put that all inside of every single one of these. Okay, easy peasy. This is so good. You can doctor these up just the way you like them, any way you like them, and your family will absolutely love them. And I will be doing a few of them, just pepperoni for one of my kids. But these are yummy. Okay. Can you just go through and get every single one? I'll finish up these last ones. I'll be right back. Alright, so I've got my pizza dough out here. And I'm just going to make me some little rounds here. This is just a little biscuit cutter. You can use whatever you have. Whatever you have will do. You just want a nice little circle. So use whatever you have. And that's just what I'm doing. And then I'll also fold this back up, knead it a little bit, and get a few more out of it. Okay? Alright, so I'm going to separate these. I'll be right back. Okay, and this is what I mean when I say knead it. You just take it and you just flip it over and over. Because you see all that dough we got left after we did that? We're not going to waste that. No, we're not. We're going to use it. Yes, we are. I'm going to get quite a few out of this. And then I'm just going to roll her back out. And just roll her back out again. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to proceed to roll her back out again. And we're going to get some more out of this. Yes, we are. And I'll be right back. All right. I've already started. I just kind of stretch mine out a little bit. Put them in the bottom. Kind of press them on the side. Press them down. And you do that on every single one of them. Press it down, kind of press it on the sides a little bit. Just like that. Okay. And they may not look perfect, but that's quite all right. This is what we're looking for. As you can see. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is put in a little bit of that marinara at the bottom. And if you don't have any marinara, you can use uh, tomato sauce. So I'm just putting about, I wouldn't even say a, a, maybe half of a tablespoon in the bottom. You want a little sauce, but you don't want it too saucy. Because you're going to want to dip them. Or not. It's completely up to you. Okay. And then now this is when we go in with the sides. I'm going to put in at least two at the very bottom. Pepperonis on each one of these. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. I would absolutely love to have you over here. Okay. Okay. 
Gigi's always doing some yummy in her kitchen. And we've got that oven preheating. I'm going to bake mine on 350. Okay. Okay, we've got that in there. And then next is when we're going to go in with some of that cheese. I'm going to put in some of that mozzarella. I'd say about a tablespoon in there. Each one of these. And we're not done. We're going to add some more cheese to it. Absolutely. Yes, we are. And this is something fun you can have the kids do with you. The grandkids, your kids. They get a kick out of this. Okay. Trying not, I want it all in and not out. <laughs> okay. And then at this point, I'm going to add another pepperoni to each one. Just one. You can add more if you like. Nothing wrong with that. It's your party. Do what you want to do. But I'm going to add other meats. Well, one other meat. That's what I should say. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit of that sausage in there. And that's Italian sausage. I'm going to put some of that right on in there. And you don't have to add Italian sausage. You can just leave yours plain pepperoni. Nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing at all. So we're going in with not quite a tablespoon of the sausage. Okay. I'm going to also go in with a little bit of those bell peppers. It's up to you if you want to add that to the dish. But this is like a supreme style that I'm going for here. And this is delicious. You make it once, you fall in love. It's one of those times you add what you like to a dish. I'm going to also go in with some of those mushrooms. Yes, we are. A little bit of everything in this. And it is going to be amazing. Let me tell you. Okay, and then after we didn't put that good stuff in, we're going to go in with just a little bit more of that mozzarella cheese. Okay, just a little bit of that mozzarella, another tablespoon or so, and I'll go back through and straighten it in there a little bit better. Oh, you know what? What did I forget? Some sauce. I wanted to put some more sauce in there. That's okay. Got a little ahead of myself there. But I'm going to work it out. sauce. You want to do everything in layers. Okay. Now we're going to go with the mozzarella. It'll be just fine now. It's for your family. They'll love you no matter what, right?
And I mean, this is what I mean when I say I'll go back through, put that cheese right on in those cups, because I want it in the cups. Unless, and it's not going to be a big deal if you do. It just makes for a prettier situation. <laughs> okay. All right, we want to get it in there as best we can. We don't like wasting, do we? And then what we're going to do at this point is I'm going to take a little bit of that Parmesan cheese, sprinkle it on there, about a teaspoon. It's going to help us get that delicious crust. Yum, yum. I'm telling you, you better make some, okay? Like I said, you make this once. And then, like I said, you can always just do the pepperoni if that's what your family prefers. Or, you know what? Just do the cheese. Because I know sometimes how the kids are about their cheese. Let me wash my hands real quick. All right, to finish this up, we're going to go in just a little bit of that garlic butter. Right on top. It makes a difference, trust me. Okay, just put a little bit of that right on top. On every single one of them. Like I said, this is a very versatile dish. You cannot mess it up. Just use the basics and you will be just fine. You cannot mess this dish up. I promise you, you cannot. Okay, and that four tablespoons was just enough. Now in the oven we go, and then I'll be back and let you see what she looks like. And it'll take, depending on your oven, anywhere from, I'd say about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on your oven. So I'll be back and let you see what she looks like, 350. And there they are. Things made easy with Gigi, all day, every day. Little marinara, please like, subscribe, and feel free to share. Everybody be blessed and stay safe. We'll see Gigi on the next one. Take care, you guys.